Hello everyone and welcome to Eat, Craft, Grow. Today I have a swatch and review of the Pampered Polishes Yoga Collection. This collection was released in late April, so I realize I'm a little behind the times, but I absolutely adore the entire collection, and so here we are anyways. Today we have six lovely polishes to look at, so let's go ahead and get started. Just so you know, I have swatched everything today over the UNT Peel Off Base Coat. First up, we have Asana, which is described as a super subtle thermal that goes from a light pewter to a rosy pink, featuring a golden flash, ultra hollow glitter, and bronze and blue flakies. This was opaque for me in two coats, although I can see it needing a third if you have longer nails than mine or a more visible free edge. Application was smooth and easy. Removal was also smooth and easy. The thermal on Asana is incredibly subtle, as you'll see on my hand shot, but I think it would be a perfect work-appropriate polish because of that. This dried slightly dull for me, but a glossy top coat brought it back to life beautifully. And here is two coats of Asana with a glossy top coat. Next up is Vinyasa. I will note that this is sold out already, which is a bummer if you missed it, but I'm showing it anyways because it's part of the collection and I love it. Vinyasa is described as a white crelly with a variety of blue glitters sprinkled with neon pink glitters. This was a three coater for me. Application was smooth and easy. I did have some difficulties at first getting those beautiful pink glitters out, but when I held the bottle upside down between coats and did a little intentional fishing, I got better payoff. This dries a little flat for me, but nothing a glossy top coat can't take care of. Removal of vinyasa was a little difficult because of the glitters. I recommend pure acetone or nail polish removal clips to make your life a little easier. Here is three coats of vinyasa with a glossy top coat. Alrighty, third up is Brody, described as a yellow-toned holographic nude with a bright red flash and amber flakes. This was a collaboration polish with Janine from Polish to the Nines. I absolutely loved this polish and that was unexpected for me because I really wasn't sure how this would look against my skin tone. I reached opacity in two coats. Again, I can see the need for a possible third coat depending on your nail length and how strong your visible nail line is. Brody was super easy to apply, also super easy to remove. This did dry on the dull side, but looked fabulous with a glossy top coat. Here's two coats of Brody with a glossy top coat. And next we have Namaste. This is a sage green jelly base with a variety of red, copper, and pink micro glitters. This took three coats for me to reach a level of opacity I was happy with. If you like to see a bit of nail line peeking through jelly polish, you may be okay with two coats, but I think the glitter payoff on the third coat makes it worth the time and effort. I didn't have any issues applying this. Removal was a little difficult due to the glitters, but because they're smaller, it wasn't too bad. I would recommend pure acetone or nail polish removal clips rather than simply scrubbing. I didn't have any nail staining with this, but I didn't wear it for very long. I did have some staining in my cuticles, which you'll see on the next polish, which just means you have to take some extra care when removing it to not get it up in your cuticles. Here is three coats of Namaste with a glossy top coat. Here we have Meditate, described as a Coca-Cola brown with a red shimmer that dries to a matte finish. This polish was basically opaque for me in one coat. I did two just to see if the color would deepen at all. I had an obvious issue applying my first coat, but that wasn't the fault of the polish. My brush was overloaded and that's, that's on me. This polish was super easy to apply and I didn't have any issues with removal. I really loved the matte finish of this polish. It was incredibly easy to work with. And here is two coats with no top coat. And then we'll have two coats with a glossy top coat. I was outdoors for a bit while I was wearing this polish and was blown away by how beautiful the shimmer was. So you get an extra shot of this with two coats and a glossy top coat. And lastly for today, we have Shakara. This is a tri-thermal that goes from a navy blue when cold to a great purple, then to a neon green when warm, holographic with micro flakes, as well as ultra chrome chameleon flakies. This applied beautifully for me, just like the rest of the collection. Removal should be easy. There's nothing in this that would make me think otherwise, but I am still wearing this one. So if I have any problems, I'll update that in the description box below. This dried fairly glossy on its own, but I would still recommend a top coat. I think this would look fantastic matte and it would pull those flakies to the forefront. 
for the thermal properties, I've had a lovely time with the transition. I had a hard time getting the purple to show up on video, but I've seen a lot of it while just wearing this polish over the past few days. Here is three coats with a glossy top coat. I get a really easy transition between the different states um, on video. Here is the navy blue cold state, and then the neon green warm state, and then a little bit of both. Maybe just the tiniest bit of the grape state is seen here. And that wraps up this collection for me. I don't get many full collections, but I loved this one, so I absolutely splurged. My favorites of the collection were Vinyasa and Brody. I absolutely adore White Crowley, so Vinyasa wasn't a big surprise for me. I wasn't expecting to fall in love with Brody, but I loved the holographic nude with just that nice hint of yellow. It looked much better in person for me. I hope you can also find something from this collection you love. These were a one batch release by Pampered Polishes, so when they're gone, they're gone. I will link the Pampered Polishes website down below as well as her Instagram and my Instagram where you can find more swatches of these polishes. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications if you want to see more from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.